So how does a guy um, who's an atheist become, I mean, seemingly pals with the Pope and uh, with the Dalai Lama and you name it, pretty much everybody? Well, it just shows you that um, those types of individuals who essentially are respected throughout the world, it's not a matter of your dogma, it's a matter of your heart. And they can read people really, really quick. And if they think that you're inauthentic, if you're dishonest, they don't spend any time with you. Right. But if you come to them with no agenda other than to connect, frankly, to give unlimited love, compassion, you're embraced. And there's no other secret than that. Tell me a little bit about, because you, you, know, you say you lived in poverty. You, you, by the time you were 13, had an awful childhood. Right. Uh, my father was an alcoholic. Uh, my mother was an invalid. She had had a stroke and was partially paralyzed. We were in public assistance. I had no mentors. Neither of my parents had gone to college. And it was difficult. And don't get me wrong, I was not abused in any way other than the abuse of that environment. Uh, but when I was 13, uh, by that time, I had become uh, angry, had, was filled with despair and hopelessness. And you know, when you have nothing to lose, then it doesn't matter what happens to you. You don't care anymore. And I became uh, uh, involved in activities, which I'm not proud of, and uh, using drugs. And, um, uh, and it wasn't even because I wanted to, it's just, I just had no future, nothing else to do. And uh, at 13, I walked into a magic shop and the owner wasn't there, but his mother was there. And she knew nothing about magic. But, uh, and I tell people prior to this, I felt like a leaf being blown by an ill wind. It was just here, there, I had no stability. And uh, this woman, after talking to me for about 15 or 20 minutes, and I'll tell you, she looked like, and when I say this, you probably know what I mean, an earth mother. You know, she was wearing sort of a moo moo and mm -hmm. flowing gray hair. And she said, I really like you. I'm here for six weeks. If you come in here every day, I'll teach you something that I think could change your life. And I frankly had nothing better to do. It wasn't because I had great insight. So I showed up and f for two hours a day, for six weeks, she spent with me. And she taught me a technique of, if you will, mind training or meditation, intertwined with a visualization technique, intertwined with the power of positive thinking and uh, self-hypnosis. And at the end of it, and I tell people, this is my first experience with neuroplasticity or change in your brain. I went from having a worldview of limited to no possibilities to unlimited possibilities. And that fundamental interaction with this woman changed my life. It opened the world to me.